Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more Andromeda Dark Souls 3. Our main your host, Chad, if you're 3 and we're going to be doing some boss fights today. A lot of boss fights today. All of the boss fights today, ideally. But first, I need to think hard about what I'm going to do here. I think this should be the Dark Ring. Because I need this badly in the next fight. Dark Ear Meteor is... Not someone I'm likely to, not a character I'm likely to be able to kill easily just by smacking them. I would like the Pontus Right Eye, but I oh, I got that wrong again. I would like the Pontus Right Eye, but it's not going to do me a huge amount of good just because there's only so much that I can do with it, and it has a big dark attack that would kill me if I don't handle it correctly. So let's just not. Ooh. Hey, it's a pure and That's a thing for a covenant that I haven't gotten to yet. I mean, I could. I just needed to have gone up the door instead of down this secret hallway, but still. That is that is a covenant item that we will see. And... Oh yeah, the antiquated plane garb. I am not wearing that. So, what? Well, well, we're starting! I meant to build up the magic thing, but we're starting! Okay, oops. And there's Meteor. Okay, good. I can get... Oh, I don't know, Festus. Well, this is not going to go well. I'm almost just curious how this is going to go, because... I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll go better than I expected. So the thing with Meteor is you want to hit the head, because... I mean, it's a dragon, so it has a head. And dealing with the head is good. I deal double damage to the head. Problem is that it doesn't exactly have a very low head. And it does that a lot. And there should be a tail. Whoop. Nope. Yeah! Oh, wait, there's this, though. Forgot about that. Oh, that's easier to dodge than you're in front. Interesting. Last time I fought this, I was in the back, and I found it remarkably difficult to dodge! But, no, it seems like that's a problem when you're near the tail, more than near the head. Ow. Right, I got it. Okay, never mind. That I'm gonna have to be more careful here, and probably not use the daggers either. Unless I go in the back and smack the legs, which I have done. Actually, you know what? I probably should just do that. I feel like the head's only really useful if you have a weapon that can reliably hit it. This I'm gonna try for the legs. For one thing, I can't get in on the head before the roar happens, so there's not much point. And there's that forward charge thing that I don't like having to deal with. <clears throat> Come on, where are you? Okay. See, the thing is, I can now hit the legs. and I, Or I could hit the legs. Oh, I see. If I'm in the back, then it does that attack setup. If I'm not in the back, then it doesn't do that attack setup. It does different attack setup. But, yeah, it tries to get me out of the legs if it can. Which, it's trying. Sure trying hard. Ah! Uh, no, not, not this time. Yeah, ha! Huh. I mean, it definitely has more damaging. But it's hard to get that head without getting hit by something. Ow, like that! Uh, what? I saw that coming. Okay, there's this charge again. <sighs> Hardest part about this fight is just hitting the thing. I'm getting close enough to do damage to it. Oh, right. That attack. It's going to sweep around here, too. Oh, boy. Ow! Darn it, I hate that attack. Ow, what? Ah, right. And it's another laser beam. Ha! 
And of course that charge. Come on, you coming at me? Now I kind of found it funny, I was playing keyboard and mouse <clears throat> previously because I thought it would be easier for doing this sort of thing where I was doing, you know, unaimed strikes, but it's actually okay on the pad. Oh man, I'm way behind curve here. I'm way behind curve. Oh crap. Okay, you're doing that again, are you? No, it's laser beam time. Beam! Oh crap, what's this? Dodge to the left? Dodge to the left! Yes, this is dodge to the left. It fires to its... fires to its left, I have to dodge to my left. Ow, what? Okay, so if I stay close to the chest or stay close to the head, it actually doesn't do a lot of those really annoying breath attacks. It still does some, though! <coughs> Too far away. Ah. Ow. Ow. I've never seen that attack before. I don't see myself having much chance here. Okay, screw it. I'm using the other weapon. I'm not quick-stepping, so I might as well just use this. Ow! <sighs> this is gonna be long and arduous. Weapon's useless. Oh, there we go. Hey, damage with range. And it's worth upgrading this, I guess. Uh, are you gonna tail with me? Yes, you are. There it is. Got you head to right. Oh, wait, no, you got me dead to rights. Well, at least the slightly higher defense helps. Ow. That was close. Oh, right, that attack's got a super wonky hitbox. Ever.
it, I thought I'd dodge that. Okay. Are you gonna go dark mode yet? No, you're not dark mode yet. Oh, what? That dude didn't even touch me! That was bullshit! Ah. <sighs> Darn, that was defensive. Oh, there it is. Crap, crap, crap! That's what I was looking for. Ah, that's the reason my dark defense or absorption was set as high as it is. Because I need that. Alright, it's offensive. Can get his head. Oh, shit, tail whipped. Chit, chit, chit. Ah. Do you have to do that attack every time? Oh, wait, this is defensive fire. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, come on! Defensive fire again. Oh, crap. No. Okay. 
avoided the explosion. Defensive fire. No, that's offensive fire. Shit. Fights for offensive. Claws defensive. Like that. Fire here usually isn't. Yes! Okay! What was that five, six tries? <sighs> so, that actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but. Oh boy, I had to change weapons. That. I knew this would happen eventually, but the dancers' blades made their rest in peace. The dancers' enchanted swords just don't have the attack power. I realize, looking at the numbers, it looks like, well, they have way more. You have 591 compared to 351. But the problem is they're split between types, and a fairly certain Midir has a high resistance to magic. Also, like, yeah, it's 351, but that's all physical. And the way Dark Souls works, it doesn't split linearly. It's a weird cubic equation, so it actually is way worse to have damage split among this many types. But I was able to get away with it for now. However, it's pretty much going to be the Twin Blades from here on out. Same with the Longbow and the and the Dance Enchanted Bow. At least, maybe. I mostly did that for armor. As for the fight, though, I learned a thing, which is that there's defensive and offensive fire from Meteor. Defensive being where it shoots straight down, and if you are under it, you're screwed, and offensive being where it shoots straight forward, and if you're not under it, you're screwed. Figuring that out basically was the only reason I managed to win that fight at the end, because... Look at how much Estus I don't have! Plus, I used an Ember! Like, that was burning all my resources. But hey, it worked. Because I figured out the fire thing eventually. So yeah, now we know, after Bites, it will fire under itself. After, uh, sorry, after Bites, it fires in front of itself as the offensive fire. After the big claw slam attack, it fires fire under itself, unless you're under it all the time, in which case it'll fire fire under itself to try to get you out of there. Which, admittedly, I didn't need to because I was going for the head, which worked! Yes! That's one boss out of three. Let's see what its soul gives us. That's also the hardest of the three bosses, I'm fairly certain. The next boss is tricky because it's a bit of an old monk scenario. There's possibly other human players involved. But... Ooh. Oh! <gasps> oh, this is cool. I don't know if it's going to do much good because it's basically just a sorcery sword thing. But... On the other hand, that could be really cool. Oh, or Frayed Blade, a katana. Eh. This isn't really a katana-based character, but this is a character with sorceries, so... Why not? <laughs> why the heck not? I can cast it. I've got enough souls for a couple levels as it is, so... Yeah. Awesome. Let's check this spell out. So, don't need camouflage. I do want to try out Old Moonlight. So this is... Yeah. Frack. Oh! Is that got a beam and everything? Yes, it does! Oh, that is cool. How much MP does it use? Okay, it uses a fair amount of focus points, but that is still an awesome thing. I don't know if I want to keep it, though. I'm not sure. I almost want to use that instead of something like Soul Arrow. Well, play around with it for a little while. See what happens. Anyway, for now, let's deal with these souls. We're now with one boss out of three, and a fair bit more damage dealable. I mean, all I need to really do at this point is to get rid of Half-Light and get rid of Gale. And then we're, we're done. At least with the Ring City. Of course, following the Ring City will be the Ashes of Ariandel DLC, because I'm doing it backwards. Partly due to an interesting fan theory I read about, and partly just because... Actually, wait, it's entirely because of that, because the Dreg Heap is pretty much right after the ending bit. So it seemed to make more sense. But first, you! Oh yeah, I should probably magic weapon up, just to get a bit more damage. Yeah, Old Moonlight! Get back! Well, some damage. Not super long range, but it's some damage at least. Oh wait, you know what I should do? I'm feeling kind of silly. 
Well, maybe not quite that. Let's let's not do it quite so riskily. Oh, what? Oh, I should be more mindful of that. Okay. You're going to track me in weird ways. Nope. Ow. I'm sure I can get this parried. I'm sure of it. I just need to know what the timing is. Which I don't. Yeah! Or I can just backstab you. No, I can't backstab you. Interesting. I don't know if this is parryable. That big fire attack. I don't know if that's parryable. Ah! Eep! Okay, this isn't going super well. Ah! Darn it! There we go! Totally parryable! Alright. Double parry! I think. Oh, which reminds me, I need to put on the rings that actually heal me when I do this stuff. That would be a good idea. Don't need dark protection, don't need anything else. Just need more HP. Actually, no, I'm gonna be fighting a boss, I don't need that. I do need this. And I do need the Aldrich Ruby. There we go. Hey, ring that paired great swords for what it's oh yeah, right. That's heavy. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. 70? Seriously? Right on the money? Oh well, whatever. My defense is at least ridiculously high. You can't take that away from me. Oh, actually, wait, no, that's exactly what's happening. It is taking it away from me. Well. Anyway. That aside. Here's the covenant I was talking about. I can offer an ornament. I don't think it'll give me anything useful. But hey, I got... I gave it an ornament. I mean, what happens if you're in that covenant, which you actually get from beating Meteor, which I have done, you can be the boss. I can actually become the boss. I don't know how many people are going to be fighting the boss, so I don't know actually to that end whether I'm going to be fighting the CPU or if I'm going to be fighting another human being. If there's no human beings, if there's no human players that are in the Covenant nearby, out online, then you will end up fighting Half Light Spear of the Church, who is basically just a CPU boss. They're they're fairly easy because they're an imitation human player, but they don't have the humanness of a human player. They're not. They don't have the intelligence of a human player. They're still AI, and Dark Souls AI is notoriously simple. Oh right, I have the Covenant in right now. Right, I remember how this works. So the way this works is that if I'm in the Covenant and I want to actually be a boss, basically, I can't fight the boss. If I do fight the boss, the Purging Monument that I got to earlier lets me, for I believe 12,000 souls, get back the Adjudicator and thus get back the ability to invade other worlds. Or at least get back the ability to be invaded. I think that's actually how it works, that you can fight the boss fight multiple times if you want in your own world. But I kind of don't know how many people are even playing right now. I mean, the first time I played this was right at the release, so it was very popular. And now, I mean, there are people playing, but it's it has been a year. And even well, the first time I was playing this, I had a hard time getting the, into the fight as the boss. It was rare that that even happened, so quite frankly, eh. Quite frankly, eh. Yes, I would. I'm not exactly that committed to covenants. That they're kind of suggestions. I'm a non-covenant worker. Or wait. Oh, hey. All right. So at this point, I guess it's too late to be the boss. Eh, whatever. Piss him off. Why not? Mm, no, I'm, I'm forgetting a thing. I have remembered the thing. Let's continue. The first stage is the Judicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I care about kings. Ow, what? Oh, yeah, I was almost dead. Right. I forgot about that. That, I, I probably should have paid a bit more attention to my HP. Like, oh, yeah, I'm limping and bleeding from places I didn't even know existed. Maybe I shouldn't take this fight right now. 
Nah. Yeah. I feel like this twin sword, or twin great sword ring knight is actually part of the boss fight, just considering they're in the way. Nope! I see you, I don't care. I don't think they come after me here, though. So the way this works is the first step is kill this Judicator. Ideally, not dying in the process. And then, after a little while, they'll summon in the Spear of the Church. And I think it's about half HP they'll do that. Ow. Overestimated myself there. Yeah, there is the summoning. You're dead. So now there's going to be a Spear of the Church, and there's going to be another helper, Painting Guardian. So this thing is just the Painting Guardian that's going to help the Spear. Ow! Okay, well that's fine. I just need to... Ah! Well, I thought I could backstab them. There's a time you can backstab that guy on, and if you get that, you're done. Or they're done. But I forgot what it was. That's annoying. Yeah, this boss is basically just a human player and one of those painting guardians. Or church guardians, actually, is what they're called. I have their shiv. Church guardian shiv. Well, they're turning the tables a bit. The break, I suppose. Of course, just because I want to win doesn't mean I'm going to put any mercy on you. Hypocritical though it may be, and as much as this may be a representation of all that's wrong in the world, I don't care! I'm killing you! I'm killing you! I'm killing you! I'm killing you! Or, okay, I'm gonna... Ah! No! Oh. Let's get... I... I can't heal. Okay, that's fine. The side things will heal me at least... Oh, hey. Maybe the daggers do work in PvP. Of course, you're gonna heal up. I can't say I blame you, but... Ugh. Come on, I'll get you. Get you! I should impress the daggers are working here. I... I'm not being parried. It's a thing. All right. Ragnaros, you're dead! Aha! May not be able to beat this boss, but at least I can beat you as this boss. Maybe we'll get 
I don't know if I want a human or half light. Well, okay, not a bad start. Actually, this is okay. So, yeah, I guess we are gonna have the cell sword twin blades. That that'll do the trick. I mean, am I gonna be able to backstab this thing? Uh, well, might as well try. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's just go with that. And oh, come on. At the very least, old moonlight. That should give me something to work with. And oh, nice. Ah, Bro Vader. Okay, that's that's what I'm facing. Another human. Woo. Ah. Okay. Can we not hit me for once? Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, what? I'm, can I do this? Is this gonna be the one I do? Come on. I mean, there's one thing I learned from invading others is that this Salzer Twin Blades could do the trick. Oh, come on, don't, don't let me down, don't let me down. Just uh, get back here, one more hit, yes! <sighs> okay. Finally. Crying out loud, that was a pain in the ass. But it's over. Just one more. Then... Then we're done the DLC. Yay! I... Ah, man, this is... Well, okay, you know what? I just remembered I gotta talk to... Shiva. Talk to her first, then we'll deal with the rest of this stuff. Hey. I mean, uh, trying to deal with this poise stuff. I mean, I guess the daggers just aren't that great for PvP. The twin blades seem to work fine. At least that's one thing. Speak thine own god if thou canst. As I thought. And so it is ye who yearn for dark. Give thine an ah, perhaps I am a bit pleased. Thou speak to a captive such as I did. My most humble thanks. Tis thanks to thee the dragon erred not from his vows. Please, take this. A final gift of thanks. Now, hasten on thy journey. But wake not the slumbering princess. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man? Oh, thou art now a spear of the church. What a wonderful, blessed day this is. With a spear such as thee, surely the princess will slumber most gently, and Medea's vows will be honored. And may thy travels be resplendent with glory. As the fire waneth, bless ye, spear. Okay, good. Now we can go and wake up the princess and fight Gale! Hooray! Alright, let's deal with the last boss of the Ring City, Slave Knight Gale! Well, first you have to accidentally kill somebody. Granted, given how many intentional times we've killed somebody, I don't think it's a big deal! I think accidental death is pretty much well within our purview right now. Hey, Filianor. Gonna get have you die. Sorry. I mean, it's a neat shell. It's a bit of a shame that touching it causes time to completely collapse. I think it's supposed to be like the Dark Soul in there or something. At any rate. Rise and shine, Princess Villianor. Or that. So I guess her being asleep was the reason why we were in the exact time we were in. 
because now she wakes up and everything's in ruin because time passed all the way to the end. Well, so much for that. Yeah, see? Everything's kind of covered in ash now. So. I mean, bit of a mistake. Oops. Kind of broke the seal on the thing that was causing time to remain where it was. Oh well. Bonfires go through time as well as space, so we can just go back whenever we'd like. But for now, we are going to go forward and get rid of a couple enemies. First off is that woman that I was talking to the game in the Titanite's lab and praised me for being a spear of the church just now. Because she's going to be over here. She's a bit annoyed the fact that I killed Philianor accidentally. <clears throat> I mean, somewhat accidentally. Let's be honest, I knew that was going to happen. But, since I know that she's coming, I might as well prepare for this. I might as well prepare for that. Going invisible was not part of the preparations. That was a mistake. Although, if it lasted long enough, it almost could be. So, there you I've are. I've searched for thee, dark, stricken creature. I am Shira, daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. At once, I am the honor of the gods, the glory of fire, and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished sure. for thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. That's nice. I, mean, I guess you might be able to hit me. Ow, that axe is hurt. Well, it's not so much an axe as it is just a big cross with some guy on it. Uh, seriously? Alright. Man, you're annoying. Ha! Nope. Okay, this isn't gonna work as a weapon. We're using the twin blades now. That's been super fast. I mean, the person I beat on the half and the that's happened to the whatever it was, the fight I just did. The Spear of the Church fight. I keep calling it half light. The person I beat in the Spear of the Church fight was using that weapon. So, that helps a bit. I'm a bit used to fighting with against that weapon. If I can just get a combo down. Darn it, let me combo you. Again, my complaints about poise remain. I like to be able to use whatever weapons I like. And I like light weapons. I don't like heavy weapons. They're too slow. Uh, get over here. Man, you're a coward. Uh, darn it. I really wish I could combo people down with these weapons. And you didn't have poise. Can't deal with poise. There we go. Now you're in a corner. Good luck getting out of this. Oh, actually, you did a pretty good job. What? Three Estus Flasks? That's cheating. CPU opponents have two Estus Flasks, and you know it. Okay, well, you should hopefully be out of Estes now. Ugh, man, you're annoying. What? How much Estes do you have? I cannot beat someone with that much Estes! That's impossible! Like, especially someone as cowardly as you! Ugh, God. Again to remember the great well, I'm not gonna escape. Here I'm calling her a coward, because she keeps running away! Quit running away and let me kill you! Ugh. That's what I hate about the stupid Spear of the Church fight. They keep running away! Every other enemy runs at me to try to kill me. You cowards run away! I do not appreciate being run away from. I'm trying to kill you! I am Shira. Daughter of the Duke. 
descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. At once. Ha! At once, nothing! Take that for your cowardly healing in the middle of combat. You deserved every bit of damage you got there. Alright, well, that cost no Estes, actually. So I can go straight on to the main boss fight. Kind of sucks I lost my Ember, though. Still, actually, I think the dagger is going to be a better option in this case. Given how fast this boss is, and I'm going to want to dodge in weird ways. So, yeah, the one thing I'm thinking of is I've 25,000 souls. Oh, really Help me, please. Don't you Red drop something and get the end? Hood is come to eat us. To eat I think that guy actually does something soul. when he gets to the end of his little path there. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Do I have any souls to use? I've got not much. A couple of the early boss souls I never spent. And that's it. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, so much for that. I can't remember what this guy does something when he gets to the end of the whole... ...of this thing where he actually gets up to Filianor. That was a unique dialogue, but I don't think he drops an item or anything. And if he doesn't drop an item, then he's of no use to me. So... Whatever. I have a boss to kill. You do your thing. You just keep crawling. I'm gonna go kill that thing. The thing that you're saying is the big red hood. At least I'm gonna try to kill that thing. Hopefully, I mean, it's not a coward. It will actually stand and fight. I just need to actually get to it. Where'd he go? Wait, where did it go? There it is. Okay. We're fighting a corpse on the ground. That's one of the weird things. He's like, what the heck is going on here? I guess Gale's been just running around for the last however many millennia, or even longer, hunting everyone they can find. Trying to get the Dark Soul. Like, that's their entire point. They have the Dark Soul. It'll be a bit clearer when we get to the Ashes DLC if you haven't seen that already. But basically, what he's getting... Here? He's getting blood. From the Dark Soul. Hand it over, that thing, your Dark Soul. To paint a new world. For my lady's painting. Oh, she, he does describe it. Never mind. And then he goes full Artorius. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Oops. Okay. Ow! What? Ow. Darn it. That attack. Okay. Hang on. Aha! And... Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, I have the damage thing. I can actually get health from damage. That's useful. Forgot I had that. What? Okay, I didn't expect that much damage. Or that much of an attack. Ow. Right, I can't rule out of being comboed. What? Oh, I thought I'd be able to get that in one. Maybe the daggers aren't the best option. All right, well, I'm more used to finding them on this terrain anyway. Where you usually fight them. Get over here. Ow. 
Aha. Okay, there we go. Ha. Man, you're faster than I remember. Okay, there we go. Got through that. Yeah. Or I could do that. That works too. Or you just not hit me. Oh, I thought I could get you down to stage two. I don't remember the exact point stage two happens. Clearly I should be more careful about guessing these kinds of things. There we go, there's stage two. Like I said, much more used on that terrain. Oh, wow, I'm way ahead of curve. Is this the blood? The blood of the dark soul. I don't remember what type of attack this is. If it's magic or dark or what. Okay. So first that, then get more magic up so I don't lose it while dodging, and then back to combat. Ow! Oh, phew. I wasn't sure if I mistimed that. Oh, whoops, shit. I knew I was going to do that. I should be fine, but I got to be careful about how much I quick step now. Like, this part of the fight should be a bit easier. Although, I think he explodes right now. Yep. Exactly right. Exactly what happens. Because this is stage three! Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah, my souls. Ow. Okay. Got this. Maybe. I mean, I'm way ahead of curve. It's just a matter of not getting hit when I'm not fully healing. Ow. What? What the hell hit me? I was nowhere near that. Ugh, I had that. That was mine. <sighs> well, I mean, it's getting better, at least. Ha! Okay. Got that. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Oh. That's a good start. That's... Okay. We might actually be able to do this without taking too much damage. Eh. I mean, it's hard to say. First stage can just go completely wrong if this hits me! Ah! <sighs> okay. Just... All right. The first stage, I honestly don't know what to think of anymore. Is it easy? Is it hard? I don't know. I guess you can kind of get into the actions. It's not going to hit you. Stage three is where things get confusing because of all the stuff going out on the side. But not now. Now we're good. Just need to get out of the way. Did I get the rhythm? I got the rhythm. Awesome. Okay. Let's finish this. Just... Just 
go down, please. Oh, what? They're gonna go to stage two. Okay. And... Come on, stage two! It should be stage two! It's almost stage two! Just... Ah, no! Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go! Finally, stage two. I never can tell when that bloody health bar ends. Oh. Okay. I mean, magic weapon's not giving me a whole lot of value, so I might as well not bother with this. Just, just keep the magic up for a quick step. Oh, yeah, for what good is gonna do- No! Ugh. Ugh. Ow! Well, I'm technically above curve, but it's stupid crossbow. I didn't use it the- Ugh. Why using the crossbow now? You were using it before. Sheesh. Okay, that was lucky. Ha! Oh, uh, not again. Yeah, there we go. Got lucky a bit. And, I mean, stage two at least isn't the worst thing in the world. Just mildly annoying. Especially if you bloody crossbow all the time. Ow. Uh, where's... Okay, come on, just... Just get. Oh, okay. One attack. You're gonna mix me up, are you? No. Ah! Why? All right. Look. Okay, that's been avoided. At least the outgoing has been avoided. Where's the incoming? There's the incoming. Also avoided. Got kind of lucky there. Just. Uh... You're gonna. Oh, come on! Get close to me. There. There we go. Just... Man, this doesn't deal much damage. And I'm on the quick step. Maybe I should just use the Twin Blades. I don't know. Ow, what? I rolled! That was a roll! Come on! There we go. No? No! <sighs> Stage 3 is only 4 Estes. This can't be good. I want like 6 or 7 at least. Oh. Yeah, screw it. Let's do the quick step. We've been rolling too much. This thing can maintain some stickiness. See, like that. Ah, uh, would you please? What the? Oh, no! uh, I didn't want to kick there. Stupid game. I didn't want to kick. I wanted to slash. Sometimes I wish that wasn't a combo command. Get Okay. Are you done? Okay. The explosion. Which of course I can't really get near, but let's pull you out of the way at least. Oh, two Estes, seriously. Well, okay, another explosion, but you know what? I'm getting too scared of the explosions. Let's I gotta deal with more damage to them when that happens. It's a prime opportunity to hit Gale. Oh, okay, I got greedy. Uh, so close. Just need to not get hit. Okay, there it is, last third one. All right, let's go. And, come on, nope. Oh, okay. Only two. Oh, no, come on. Okay, good, out of range. It's like, what is it, these two attacks? Ah, ah, no. Uh, shoot. Okay, good. That should have taken two tries. <sighs> Took way too many tries than it was worth. <sighs> Whatever. That's the Ring DLC. That's the Ring City DLC, which, admittedly, those last couple of bosses. I mean, okay, I'll admit, Slave Not Gale, my fault. I just expected it to be easier, and so that just made it frustrating because it wasn't as easy as I expected. So fine, whatever. Expectation mismatch. But I still say Spear of the Church fight is absolute bullshit. I mean, PvP fight's bad enough, but then you add a bunch of other enemies on top of that. It's like, come on. PvP is already a pain in the butt, and everyone who's going to be doing Spear of the Church stuff is already optimized for PvP. I don't know. At any rate, there should be a 
a ring knight with a bunch of giant swords around here. Maybe they come in when I reset the area. Like, it's boss fight right now, but there's a few places you can go if you re if you go out and in, I think. Like I said, there should be some enemies wandering about. Hey, okay, well that, that is, yeah, the Ring City. So after this will be the Ashes DLC, which should be fun. Yeah, Sister Frida's going to be a pain in the butt. Sister Frida is the boss I was most, I'm most worried about. Like, I actually wasn't worried about Gale, which clearly was a mistake. I should have been. But I was, I forgot about the Spirit of the Church. I thought, ah, oh, well, if I fight Half-Life, it'll be fine. Turns out fighting Half-Life is actually way harder than fighting any other Spirit of the Church. Surprisingly enough. Who knew? I mean, I figured Spear of the Church, Spear of the Church. I mean, it's, it's just there. Like, Spear of the Church is another human player, so good luck beating them. But half lights way more HP and it's still actually pretty scary. So, there you go. Apparently, fighting the CPU version of that is not always the easiest option. Anyway, what do I get off of Slave Knight Gales? Like, the sword and the... The sword and the crossbow, I think. The great sword, no, it's a great sword, so whatever. Hmm. Oh. I mean, it would be kind of cool if you had... I mean, if I was playing a greatsword build. I mean, the things... The build that it was playing that had that, I was also playing crossbow, so yeah, I used that. So, nah. The repeating crossbow is not that great, by the way. It, like, it did... It did a number on me, but the thing is, it uses so many bolts that it's not worth it. And yeah, it does deal about that much damage to a human player normally, but it's still not that much... Not that worth it for the bolts. Maybe it's worth it in online, because you just spam the area and it can't even roll away from it, but I doubt it. Anyway, let's double-check the area around the arena, because like I said, there's something there. There is something there if you're not in boss fight mode. Because when it's a boss fight, it changes up what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's going to go back to normal, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it still looks like a boss fight. Did I miss those ring knights? Hey, ring and knight jerk. Now what? Okay. I should be a bit more careful. Man, I do not get parries. I've been playing this game with this build for so long and I still don't know how to parry proper. Okay, I say that. <clears throat> Got one nice one there, but still. And a backstab, okay. You want to play it risky. Oh yeah, I don't have the ring that gives me the health on backstab and parry. Yeah, ten oh yeah, right, that's why I wanted to kill that guy, because he got to get another slab. I knew there was something that one gave me. Also, I don't really need this anymore. At least I don't think I do. I think it's going to level up more HP. Clearly, I need more HP. The amount of HP I had from that ring helped. Like, actually, it saved my life at one point during the fight. So, yeah, that's actually worth doing. All right, cool. So, last few bit of my skill level. Because right now, level 111. Fairly dex, dex int focus skill line. But I think I'm just going to get a couple more levels of dexterity. And then bring up my HP. Maybe bring up stamina a little bit. Definitely bring up HP. Or bring up vigor. I have, like, base 1200 HP or so. But anyway, that is going to be it. So, Ring City is done! Ash of Ariandel is next. And then, after that, will be the Soul Cinder fight, and then we'll be done! Anyway, that's it, been it for this Boss Rush episode, so I hope you enjoyed that more than I did. And until next time, enjoy stuff! Hmm?